How goes the family? Welcome back to Larry's Anything Goes. Hopefully you guys having a great <clears throat> and exceptional day. All right, so let's get to the basics. Let's get to the basics. Let's get to the basics. All right, so today's word of the day is bounce. All right, bounce stands for to rebound or cause to rebound after having stuck an object or a surface or whatnot. To move jerkily, bump, etc. and so forth. Now, the main reason why I chose this word today is because, um, one... It's crazy when you even think about the whole Will Smith situation. Um, my man should have bounced from that relationship a long time ago. I know why the significant other didn't bounce from the relationship a long time ago, because where is she really going to go? Uh, well, probably would still take half his money and whatnot. But, you know, that's why a lot of people don't necessarily believe in marriage like that. But, you know, hey, to each his own on that aspect. <clears throat> but my mindset is this. If you're in any situation, friendship, relationship, even a job, even a business and whatnot, that causes you to not have any significant peace and happiness in life, then it's really plain and simple. Sometimes you, if you can't do it immediately, work on doing it as fast as possible. Bounce out away from that whole situation. Because great example, Will Smith's situation proves that you can have all the money, fame, and fortune in the world and still be the most emotionally wrecked and miserable people on the planet because you're in a specific toxic relationship, whether you created the toxicity or the significant other created that, you know, because even friendships can be very toxic. That's why I said, if it ain't about, I don't do drama, I do business and there's no way in hell I would be, I'd rather be dead. And I'm just going to be honest and say it live on <laughs> live on the internet. I would rather be dead than to live Will Smith's life because I, I'd be I'm just going to keep it real. I'll be damned if I'm living with somebody that basically think they're going to wear the pants. And I can't put it any other way. And the problem, one of the biggest problem is too many of the beta males that are out there are doing their darndest. Um, they're growing in numbers. They're doing their darndest to say, well, they, they have the yes, dear mentality. And meaning, uh, you want me to walk on my knees? Yes, dear. You want me to wait three hours before I have to use the bathroom? Yes, dear. You got too much of the, th that nonsense and it's promoted on a regular, regular basis. And that's why I commend the men that are getting back in the menhood. I commend the fathers that are out there that are showing their, their boys how to be decent, respectable young men, but they're not taking any nonsense off of anybody um, at all. And to be a man in regards to handling themselves in a professional manner and all that good stuff. So they don't get overly emotional to the point where they explode like a volcano and don't know how act like they don't have any specific good home training. And I'll leave it at that, all right? <clears throat> Today's quote of the day is by Benjamin Disraeli stated, man is only great when he acts from passion. And when you live in a life of stress, misery, <clears throat> and anger all at the same time, I've seen stories where people that are living in prison have a lot more happiness than people that people who are rich and famous and whatnot. Because all the money in the world cannot make you happy. All all the women in the world can't make you happy. All the men in the world can't make you happy. But when you have peace and sincere, you know, serenity, when you have great family and great friends and whatnot, when you have um, you know, passion in your in your life, and I'm talking about passion outside of the basic stuff. If you if you're a parent, of course you're supposed to love and be passionate about your kid. If you're married, of course you're supposed to be passionate and love your significant other and whatnot. But there has to be some passion and happiness outside of that all at the same time. So that's just my personal thing on that one, all right? So do the great three free things, family. Like, share, and subscribe. Have a great day. As I always say, make money moves or you're going to live broke like a fool. If you are a stock investor, crypto investor, individual retirement account investor, think about signing up with Coinbase. Think about signing up with Acorn, Stash, um, Weeble, all that good stuff. You have the opportunity, especially with Weeble, once you put a penny in the account, deposit a penny in, into your um, Weeble account, you have an op opportunity to get up to $500 worth of free stocks and whatnot, all right? So on that note, family, make money moves or you're going to live broke like a fool. Take care, family.